Here are 20 mistakes beginners make with their quest 2. Playing VR alone. When I first got my quest 2 about 2 years ago, I thought that I was going to have a fun time playing all of the games. But one thing that I didn't know was that I had no friends who owned a quest 2 at the time. I got on and started looking for things to do only to realize that I had nothing to do with anybody. I was pretty sad but I found a solution. A week later I started looking into discords of people who play the same games as me and all I did was just ask them if they wanted to play. This saved me a lot of time and I've made a ton of new friends since then. Moving on from that, another mistake that I had a close friend make was not knowing how to take quick and easy screenshots. We were playing Blast On and he wanted to show me something cool, but after trying to take a screenshot the long way, he didn't get to show me anything at all. So I showed him how to take a quick and easy screenshot by holding the Oculus button and pressing the trigger. But here's something that prevents people from playing hundreds of free games. Besides not taking screenshots, another mistake beginners make is not using SideQuest. When I first heard of SideQuest a year and a half ago, it completely changed what I can do with my quest. SideQuest is an app that has hundreds of free games for us to play. You can also change the resolution of your quest and have custom homes. To get side quests, you can easily download it on any computer that you have and just plug your quest in. It's really simple. Speaking of plugging your quest in, my friend a couple of months ago only played Quest 2 games and this is a huge mistake Quest 2 players make and that is not playing PC VR games. After being bored of my quest from its booty games, I found out that I can connect it to my PC with a cable and play higher quality and more fun VR games. Plus a lot of games I already had on PC PC already included VR support, so that was a bonus. Speaking of bonus, when I gave my friend my Quest 2 during summer vacation, he complained that it was just very blurry. This reminded me of a huge mistake every Quest 2 player makes, and it's not adjusting the IPD properly. I told him that you can easily shift the two lenses to make it so it is not blurry, and if all the options don't work, you can actually change your IPD to be in between different numbers, which is really cool. Wait till the end of the video for the biggest mistake that a lot of people make. Picking up my Quest 2 back in early 2022 in Best Buy, I had no idea of what I was getting myself into. I came home and put on the quest and quickly ran into a mistake that everyone makes and that is not buying a new head strap. Obviously I hated the way the quest to fit on my head especially since it's kind of big. So I went to Amazon, searched up a head strap and found the Kiwi Elite strap. I was so happy to pay the $40 but it's the best investment that I've made for my quest too and it still holds up today. If $40 is too much for you then you can find a, a much cheaper option on Amazon. But here is something we all dislike, and that's dirty people. I hate dirty people. And one thing they forget to do is clean their Quest 2 properly. Cleaning the cameras in the rings can lead to much better tracking and a cleaner Quest, especially if you sweat a lot playing fitness games, Beat Saber, or any of that. A lot of people have big elephant ears, so the speakers on the Quest 2 are perfectly fine for them, but not for me. Using the Quest 2 for the past year and a half, I found out that the speakers on the headset are mid. So what I did was get some headphones and was pleasantly surprised by how much better it sounds with those on. But having huge headphones with your Quest looks really stupid so I recommend getting some cheap earbuds from Amazon but next let me tell you about what a friend of mine did that you should never do this is my friend's controller and here's what happened he fell into a terrible mistake that tons of beginners make and that is not using the quest 2's hand straps he was playing gorilla tag about three months ago and juked somebody so hard that his controller flew out of his hands and into the wall right next to him he told me he felt pretty stupid so he started using the hand straps he also used a special hand strap trick that I had taught him so let me know in the comments down below if if you want to see that. Speaking of hands, one day I woke up and forgot where my controllers were and this reminded me of a mistake that all beginners make and that is not using hand tracking. Hand tracking is such a good feature where you can go through the menus using your hands meaning that you don't ever have to pick up a controller unless you're going to play a game. A lot of beginners don't use this feature and I don't really know why. I almost threw up playing VR for the first time and let me tell you how. I ran into this beginner mistake and that is playing crazy games. It was a Sunday afternoon, I was bored and looking for a fun game to play so I loaded up this this VR roller coaster game and we all know how that goes. I was nauseous after 30 minutes of playing so what I recommend everybody do is play the first steps VR game or any other VR game that is very easy to play and that does not give you a chance of throwing up. And then after a while you can ease into other games. But speaking of easing into other games, Quest 2 games cost a lot of money and a lot of us are broke. So a mistake that a lot of beginners make is not taking advantage of the $1 Quest Plus program. What the Quest Plus program is, it's like a subscription like how you have Netflix and you can pay pay that subscription every month to have access to two games. This way you get to experience all the really cool quest games without paying full price. But forget the gaming part of it because that's what a lot of people focus on. Another mistake beginners make is only using the quest for gaming. The quest has many purposes like watching a movie with friends or you could connect a bluetooth keyboard and have a million monitors to work with. The possibilities are limitless so I recommend you branch out and find out what you can do. I have a pretty dark room so one day I booted up my quest only to find out that the tracking ring is up my butt. A lot of beginners make the 
mistake of using their quest in a dark room. So be like me and turn on every light that you have. My friend called me and said his quest 2 was burnt. Come to find out, he actually left his quest 2 in direct sunlight. I called his mom and told her to beat him because that is the same mistake that a ton of beginners make. And that is leaving your quest 2 lenses in direct sunlight. The sunlight beams into the lenses of the quest 2, burning the screen inside and making the headset unusable. But now it's time for a mistake that I regret till this day. A lot of beginners don't clean their lenses right. And I was a victim of that one fateful afternoon. Instead of using a microfiber cloth to clean my quest, I used a scratchy cheap piece of tissue paper and got scratches all over my lenses. I was so sad and till this day I still regret it. Quest 2 games cost a ton of money and that is a problem for someone like me who doesn't have a lot of money to spend on games. But I found a way to play the games for free and that is using the free game trials. This saves a ton of money because some of the games turn out to be complete trash and boring. So that saves me money in the long run. I fell into a major mistake that a ton of beginners make and that is not taking breaks. We were playing Pavlov Zombies, we were 200 kills in, and I was exhausted and sweating and I didn't even think about taking a break. Next thing you know, I was very lightheaded and about to pass out, but luckily my friend prevented me from doing that. I recommend you all do the same. But I've actually done something a little bit worse than that. I have this scratch on my controller and let me tell you how I got it. I was playing Gorilla Tag and I accidentally hit my wall because I just didn't know where I was. And this reminded me of a mistake that a lot of beginners make and that is not having a small carpet to play on. Having a small carpet will let you know where you are at all times so you don't wander off into your room and walk into a wall. And finally, for the huge mistake that you guys have been waiting for, and that is letting your quest to overheat. And letting your quest to overheat can cause the battery to get worse. Worse battery means less playtime. And with a worse battery, my friend actually bought me a new charger, which made me want to smack him. If you guys don't want me to smack my friend, then watch this video on the 10 stages of Gorilla Tag players.